Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4! Battle for the Bosporus, playing as the Ottoman Sultanate, ruler of Turkey and Greece, both. And otherwise a little bit stymied, just a little bit stymied right now. Um, we are going to be taking on Yugoslavia expressly so that I can go for some new conscription. If he wants to attack me and exhaust himself, uh, I don't really have any objection to that. I might, we actually have forts even along here, which is hilarious, and they don't. I don't know. I mean, we could actually attack Yugoslavia and make some progress and take some stuff. It is a thing that we can do. Um, I don't know if there's a reason for me to attack them until I've got enough political power to actually go for... Um, the conscription law change, though. I think. Right? Maybe. I've got claims on a lot of people all of a sudden, basically. A lot of people all of a sudden. Uh, align Bulgaria. So, this we can do, but nothing will happen. Um, because, I'm, I'm, I'm like 95% sure, because they're a part of the Axis, they'll be like, no, we don't need to submit to you. Um, we already are a part of a faction, we don't need to become your puppet state. So, it's not gonna happen. So this is a waste. If I join the Axis, I'm pretty sure I bypass this. At which point, we can try to demand Vichy France give me Damascus, and if they don't, I think I'll get claims, probably. Expand the Pact. We could form a faction. Now, if I form a faction, I can't join with um, the Axis, though. But I think this would actually invite Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran to join the Axis, which I don't want, so that's awkward. Reclaim the Fallen Empire. Now that is tempting. Weekly manpower for the rest of the game, plus mobilization speed and war support. And, and, we get the unlock the Reform the Ottoman Empire decisions. More of them. Oh, that's good. So the question is, am I going to join the Axis or am I not? That is absolutely the question. Um, we have some fun options. If we continue down this, um, if we continue down this all the way. We could actually get Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq to become my puppet. There's a thought. That's a compelling reason not to join the Axis. Uh, research slot factories, research doctrines, camelry units. I don't know what those do. Infrastructure. And then we even would get topple government um, war goals against the UK, France, and Italy. Which is funny. And then eventually a puppet focus against Japan. And we would get research bonuses for all the Marines. Like This is a weird focus tree that actually encourages you to go ham and just conquer everything in sight. The question is, if I'm not going to join the Axis, do I go down this route? And I think the answer is yes. I am almost positive that Bulgaria will say no. I am absolutely okay with being proven wrong. A-okay with that. That'd be awesome. It ain't going to happen. It just isn't. But if I could get Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan to become my puppets, all of a sudden, we become a bit more of a powerhouse as far as our faction's concerned. And I could possibly... Well, how would I do it? I could attack Vichy France. That would likely pull me into a war against the Germans, in which case me and the UK are helping each other out, basically trying to fight the Germans. But then we probably lose. Unless we do that deliberately at a time when the Germans and the Soviets go to war, and all of a sudden, I join in with my faction, with the Allies and the Soviets, to beat them all down. Then, of course, the Soviets try to kill me. That's not great. It'd be better if I could fight the UK and Germany at the same time, but have them ignore me so I can take on Vichy France to get Syria, then go all the way down to Egypt. That'd be nice, because I am pretty sure, I think, from what I have read, in the same way that we have the Reform the Ottoman Empire options down here once you get some states to get cores, I think if we can own Syria and Egypt, we also get that. So that's a load of extra cores that way. That'd be pretty nice. Recon would be a good thing for me to get. Signal companies we're not using at the moment. Probably should get upgrades to my artillery, actually. That would make sense. Oh, hello. Guess who decided to send all their troops to my front? Yep. Yep, that's a thing. Okay, so Yugoslavia realized what I was up to. And they said, screw it, we're not doing that nonsense. Got it, fair enough. Um, do we have any intelligence of this area? So I'm operating at 150% mission efficiency right now to keep the Greeks under control. 
I'm tempted to say, hold off on this for a second. Let's get an Intel network in Montenegro. Montenegro. And see what's going on down over here. If we don't spot any troops, maybe we do actually send some troops over here and try to... Um, just kind of hunker down in the mountains and split his forces so we're free to push. Maybe. But at the same time, do I actually think I'm going to be able to get any naval supremacy down here? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, we could upgrade a couple of ships. Probably would be good. I don't know. I actually, you know, that's a thing we could do. Whoa, what happened to my steel? Holy crud. I need some serious steel and tungsten all of a sudden. I don't know what I did. Did I finish building a load of factories? No. What did I do? I think maybe somebody canceled a trade deal with me or something. Um, how many factories I got working? We're still building pretty fast, so I think we're okay. But wow. Unexpected. Okay, we have 150 political power. In order to survive, now we have to do this. And we pray... We pray that they don't join a faction. Conscription law, go. Alright, so now we're going to be able to get up to 5%. Uh, it's going to be mobilizing 0.009% per day. So we should start getting thousands of manpower. I'm not looking to actually push against you at all. I am just sitting here for a moment. Okay? They're going to stare at me. I'm going to stare at them. We could declare peace right now and I wouldn't be upset. Wouldn't even be upset. I don't think he's going to want to attack me. I definitely don't want to attack him into the mountains. Like, this is just a disaster waiting to happen. What I really could use, actually, would be some mountaineers. What is this? Bulgarian territorial expansion. States with prearranged Bulgarian territorial expansion modifier will be transferred to Bulgaria once any faction ally controls the state and Bulgaria has joined the same faction as Germany. Germany has promised them land. If I joined the Axis and took on Yugoslavia, they would make me give it all to Bulgaria. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that none at all. Oh, man. More compelling reasons to say screw to the Axis. But how the heck am I going to survive without them? I don't know. Um, I don't think they've got any troops over here, if I'm being honest. I don't think they do. We need to keep trying to root out resistance and prevent this from getting much higher. How much manpower? We're up to... We're, we haven't gotten any more manpower yet. Hang on. We gotta wait for this to go up. Well, I'm not doing anything until my man... Oh! There's 10,000 manpower. Thank you! Okay. So now we can finish this out, right? Current manpower, 15,000. There it is. Okay, so now we're sending troops in here to actually do some good. Resistance is starting to pick back up in the Kurds. Why? Why do you be this way? Whatever. Well, we're going to finish researching the military police in 93 days, at which point that will make both of these a little bit easier. But again, until we get more manpower, we're doing nothing. So I'm just going to sit here and stare at them for a little bit. See if this helps me at all. Okay, the good news is we are starting to burn down the resistance here in Greece a little bit. We've now got some manpower to work with, thank God. And the uh, Kurds are getting a little bit more under control. I'd like to train up some troops, but I don't see that working out well for me right now. Um, you cancel this task. We were trying to retrofit a few of my subs to just try to go for a little bit of extra naval supremacy. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to finish this very quickly, though. That's too slow. Cancel that. Would have been nice. Not going to happen. All right, let's get the organization for these subs back up and running. I need to make sure we send some of these guys over here in order to patrol and try to go for some sort of naval supremacy. Just enough intelligence is all I really care about. Let's see. We'll get the air superiority and the naval strike if possible. Wouldn't mind getting a few more fighters if we had them available. Don't have enough of those, but every little bit counts out here. Just a little bit of intelligence so we know what we're doing. Because I don't know. Maybe Yugoslavia has nothing here, and this actually could be a way we can beat them. Heck, if I could get up here and we could quickly pin down this army and then run through here, we could encircle his entire army and kill Yugoslavia. Now, wouldn't that be hilarious? 
It really would. It would be absolutely hilarious. All right, Alain Bulgaria is about to be done. We know nothing's going to happen. Don't get excited. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So we can activate the plan, it says. It says we can do this. Do we try? You all should be doing naval invasion support. Actually, wait, no. These guys should be doing patrol. Let's go ahead and send the subs out. The subs are looking for anything. Anything they can find. Now that we have some manpower, I think we go for it. Let's try for a quick little naval invasion and see if this works. I know he's got somebody up here in Split, but does he have anybody here? Okay, Align Bulgaria is done. We're going to go for a Claim the Fallen Empire. That will get me weekly manpower. He has nothing defending here. Bulgaria remains confident in the protection of its allies. The Bulgarians refuse to accede to our authority or recognize the legitimacy of our demands. Instead, they seek refuge in the arms of the Axis like the cowards that they are. We must decide if we are willing to chance conflict with Bulgaria's allies. Gain a war goal against Bulgaria. Well, I guess I'd rather gain the war goal than to lose base stability. Um, I'm not going to use it, because I can't risk fighting them at all, but, you know, that's a thing. So here we go for a naval invasion right here. Are you going to let me? He did. Okay, hold up. Everyone assigned here. You, I need here. You, I want to go across like this. And if I can hold on... Okay, he's trying to leave. Nope, don't let him. Pin. No, 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 no. Some of you guys need to pin this too. Pin all of them. We're not trying to win. I'm trying to hold like 80% of his army in place until I can encircle him. That's what I care about. We're going to try to grab this port. We did get it. That's just for some supply generation. It's not absolutely crucial. We're going to go ahead and start replacing our artillery with the better stuff. Uh, we are producing at least a handful of fighters, etc. That's all great. Uh, we probably should be producing more improved infantry equipment, though. You guys, we don't care about this anymore. We care about close air support, specifically in the Western Balkans. So let's get some air support going. Now, my concern is that we're going to be spread really thin here. And this is going to make it very difficult for me to actually hold any of this. Okay, we ran out of organization really quick over here. He is trying to reinforce exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. But we're making him retreat. Mechanized offensive. So we got that. We can go for shock and awe, which is what I usually do. I do like Erlen battle, but only if you have the production to back it up. So we'll take that. We don't need to worry about the factories quite yet. We got a little bit of time there. Doctrines, no, 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 no. Improved artillery would be good, or we could go for more recon. We're going to go for the improved artillery, truth be told. So we just forced him to retreat here. He's got a lot more troops than I thought. Holy crap. He's trying to retreat. Can't allow that. I think we may have messed up and let him send too much out. Yeah, Yugoslavia has a lot more troops than I expected. This feels like a disaster waiting to happen right here. If we can't contend and beat him on this turf right here, we're not going to win. Yeah, so stop fighting. Getting some more infantry over here to actually defend, because he's trying to cut me off. He's sending everything he's got over here. Holy crap. Okay. No, this is not, this is not a good idea. We need to back up. Hold the line a little bit, but we're spread too thin. I can't afford to do that. Back up. Back the heck up. Holy crap, how many troops do you have? Jesus! You may have twice my army size. Well, now we actually do have some um, manpower. We can train some units up. That's not a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking that the naval invasion was a mistake. I can't hold this with that many troops. I can't do it. We're going to lose this port. I need all of you to retreat. I need you to retreat. 
Hold this ground, get some organization. No, don't go that way. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stop going there. He's going... He's gonna take that. Ignore it. Oh my god. Stop being an idiot. Stop. I could just change up the fallback line. Let's let him just move, though. No, no. Stop. Stop. Okay, so now we need to just hold this part right here and see if we can entrench like hell in mountains. And that port is gonna have to be good enough. What I may need to do is actually abandon this and create a fallback line. But that was a complete and utter disaster. I didn't think it was going to work, but I held out hope for a little bit. I did hold out hope for a little bit. We need some more steel, and that's fine. I'll trade with my good friend the Soviets. Make sure we keep producing the better guns. If I could train up some mountaineers, man alive would that make my life easier. The good news is we have enough supplies that we're holding this. So unless he's willing to commit a lot of troops over here, he's just going to waste a lot of his equipment. Technically, just by sitting back and letting him throw away his manpower and equipment, we can just exhaust him over time. What would help is if I actually built up a couple of forts here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that while we're under attack, but I mean, on the off chance he lets me. Sure, enjoy that attrition, fools. What I'm afraid of is that he's going to keep sending troops over here so that even though I'm winning these fights, I'll just run out of organization by default. That's the thing I'm most afraid will happen. I need him to give me a second to actually, like, recoup. No factories assigned until we actually can do anything. Yeah. We're trying. We can't assign any factories while we're under attack, though. But all we need is those few little second intervals here and there. Uh, okay. So my navy... Honestly, can now just go in a hold pattern. This doesn't do me any good. Let's say... Oh, don't go there. Actually, no, that's fine. Stay there. But let's save ourselves a little bit of fuel. I want to keep my planes up and running for a little bit. Try to get some of that air support, the ground support, just to keep these guys alive a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's throwing everything he's got over here at, at me, which, you know, is hilarious and awful. Uh, what I'd love to do is send, like, one infantry over here. To just go ahead and make sure we have more entrenchment here so he keeps wasting more of his uh, breakthrough. There we go. That should allow all these guys to recoup a little bit faster. Yeah, okay. So he's not getting very far. Okay. Good, 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 good. This line is definitely weaker, but without Mountaineers or something, we're not going to be able to break through it. Hey, Axis! Can I join your faction? No. It'll only work if I'm fighting the Allies is basically what I'm seeing here. Well, I mean, if we could find a way to declare war on the allies, uh, we could probably join. Looks like Italy's going to get all of Egypt. I don't like that. Well, we're going to get the reclaiming of the fallen empire. Mobilization speed. Heck of a lot more manpower. I mean, that may be my hope. My hope is I can get um, enough manpower coming in from the mobilization speed and from the weekly manpower, etc., etc., that we can field a much larger army, and then we can beat Yugoslavia in a one-on-one -on -one fight. In the meantime, the whole world is burning, and they're all doing their thing, but I'm sitting here and having fun fighting little guys in the bulk of the Balkans. Great. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, military police would be helpful right now. We've already got the entrenchment, so that's good. We could go for the recon company. Can't do much else there. Would love to get things like anti-air built up, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, let's see, it's December. Um... I would love to get more construction speed and so on. But I think what I'm going to do is get the recon company. For our garrison here, we are going to toss in the military police. It's going to cost me some support equipment. I got plenty of it. And that little bit of extra suppression value should mean that I don't need quite as many divisions over here. We actually are going to gain some compliance out of Yugoslavia, I just realized, just by holding this. Across the entire nation of Yugoslavia, once I take them down, we're going to get a little bit of extra compliance. That's nice. But the important thing is, Kurdistan doesn't need as many divisions anymore. Uh, we are now gaining more manpower than we are spending. Still spending a lot more in Greece than we are gaining, but as we gain compliance, if we can get up to the local police force, that will go away. There we go. Okay. Things are looking better all of a sudden. A lot better. Would love to upgrade my artillery. What do we have as far as logistics? We are still gaining everything. We are 
Yeah, so we're not losing more than... Okay, so the good news is, the problem is sometimes if you're entrenching right here and they're constantly attacking you, you find yourself bleeding to death in terms of equipment, right? But right now, even though he's attacking me constantly, we are gaining more equipment than we're losing. So the only thing we're losing is potentially a bit of manpower, and even then, not too much. He, on the other hand, is losing strength. So death by a thousand cuts, death by being passive, will beat him. Um, I don't have a lot of steel. Is the only downside of trying to make more stuff. I think what I do is I try getting some more fighters. Just to keep that air superiority going. And we'll try to keep more ground supports just so I have that advantage. But yeah, he's, he's wasting his time. Legionary Romania. Okay, so they went down the fascist route, which makes sense. So the Axis is, you know, basically all of this except for me and what I'm trying to take. King Carol II abdicates. All right. That's all well and good. We have some more uh, political power. I could now try to go for another conscription law with service by requirement. That gets me a hell of a lot more manpower. Truth is, that's true. But we lose so much factory output. I'm not sure I need this yet. What would be nice is getting a lot more offense or defense for my units. More defense means I take even less losses if he keeps throwing himself. The thing is, I actually want him to keep throwing himself. If I have too much defense and he gives up, then I'm not bleeding him dry anymore. And that's no good. I mean, we have a fort getting built up. That's just going to increase his losses, make it easier for me. Uh, the UK just landed in Albania. Hello. What's up, guys? How you doing? Um, he's not attacking me here anymore. Okay, I need to cancel this. I don't want to have too many fort levels. We found this out with my Polish campaign against the Soviet Union. If you have too many fort levels, they just don't attack. It's to my advantage for him to attack. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get a bit more improved artillery going for the extra soft attack to inflict casualties. Reclaiming the Fallen Empire is going to be such a huge advantage for me. War support going up is nice, too. We get a lot more of our mobilization speed. So that's good. Okay. Can we get upgrades for my generals? Probably. I imagine by now we can. Field Marshal is a no. But you can. Guerrilla Fighter Entrenchment Speed. Eh, alright. I'll take it. It's not good, but I'll take it. Movement bonus on land, makeshift bridges. That doesn't do me a lot of good. What I want is defense. Maybe I don't want to do these. Maybe I just want to sit tight for a bit. Okay, we are... Whoop, I just turned green. I turned green? Why did I turn green? I am the Ottoman Empire! Okay. So just like that, I've officially completed my goal. I have reformed the Ottoman Empire. It's a baby Ottoman Empire. It's not especially good, but it's an Ottoman Empire. Do we want to invite these guys into a faction? Yes! We're going to try to create a faction with Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq. We also just got that extra soft attack down here. That's nice. Let's go for the production? Construction? I still think construction's my favorite of the bunch. We are producing more military factories, so that's looking good. Uh, I can build more factories where? One here, 40%. I'm looking for areas with like good infrastructure or a lot of building slots where I want to build infrastructure. Like right here. You know, build one level of infrastructure and then build a bunch of military factories, etc. That's fine. As we keep getting manpower, what I'm going to need is a lot more equipment. That'll be good. So these guys are losing some strength. I can't decide if it's because they're not reinforcing or it's because they're actually running out of equipment. These guys are still doing fine, so probably not. If I see these guys go down to like half strength, I know he's out of infantry equipment and we go for the kill. By the way, what's going on here? After the, uh, Alter the royal laws of succession. Why would I want to just gain base stability? Enact the policy of agnatic cognatic primogenitor law. I know that from CK3 or 2. So that only direct descendants of the Sultan may inherit. Is there a chance that I'm going to die? Could that happen? Maybe. What does the Turkish debt administration do, by the way? Political power gain and resources to market. It would be helpful to get rid of that. Uh, where are the rest of my reform the Ottoman Empire? There they are! Look at that! Okay. So, enlarging these things, if we can control Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Dalmatia, we gain cores. 
as we push against Yugoslavia, if we can beat them and take things, we gain loads of cores. We don't even have to, we don't even have to own it in a war, like conquer it. We don't have to win. We just have to control it. Oh, yes. Baghdad? Uh-huh. Egypt, Jeddah, Habash, and Yemen. Oh my god. Oh my god. There are so many cores you can get as the Ottoman Empire. That's amazing. I want it. So badly. Okay. Well, for right now, we're going to modernize our tactics to gain some organization. I can't imagine that's going to be bad. I'm going to commence the overhaul of our training methods so we can train our troops up faster. We're going to train up a few more of these infantry. And we're going to train some uh, mountaineers. As many as I can get, which is not many, to be fair. But I'll take them. Uh, we'd like to get the engineers. We'd like to get the recon. And I'd like to get the artillery. Do that. There we go. So these guys will end up being pretty helpful. These guys actually have a reasonable attack value in mountains. Plus 35% attack in mountains. That will make all the difference in the world as far as breaking through in a few key areas. Uh, I also would love to expand the naval base down here. If we can build that out somehow, we can get more supply, which means I'll be able to send more troops over here. He's still trying to exhaust me. Maybe I was wrong and we do want to build this fort up. You know what? I think we do. We want to build the fort up. He could technically beat me from just beating his head against the wall for a long, long, long time. I'm gonna send one more infantry. Now, if I send more infantry over here, what are we committing to? We'll have four left behind. Is that gonna be enough? I think so. Let's just stay here for a minute. We just need to be able to get a breather in organization. That's all we need. Yeah, he's trying to attack me from multiple directions. He's not getting very far, though. I am concerned he will whittle me down. If I can't get a little bit more. Just a little bit more. If we could get the defensive um, general, that would help. I mean, let's take a look at this right here. So his breakthrough is pitiful. And I've got hundreds and hundreds of defense. So he's doing only like 10% damage to me right now. Yeah, 29 breakthrough against all of this. He's going to keep getting repelled. But he's so smart in that he keeps sending one at a time so I don't have a chance to rebuild any organization. Shang-Chi capitulates. I don't care. Yeah, like organization is going down. Because he keeps doing this. I think I might need to send one more infantry over here or something. Let's try sending one more over here. Not thrilled about it. We're going to try. Cycle out one of the... Um, if we just keep cycling the units, these guys are able to recuperate. If we can just keep cycling them back and forth, that actually will be enough. Okay, that's going to be a plan. That's a good plan. I would love nothing better than to have Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan join the pact. I love them. They don't necessarily love me. I don't know if we want to guarantee independence. Or if we want to improve relations, and maybe that increases the odds of them joining a faction. But having a faction on my side would be a huge advantage. I like the idea. So, okay. This is a good place for me to end this video. This is a bizarre series, because I feel like I'm not blobbing. But I'm playing, I think, somewhat intelligently. That's got to count for something, though, right? And we're not even at our full manpower yet. We've got a bit more we can go with. Okay. Let's get some more defensive units. Another offensive. If we can keep fielding more units, we can field more mountaineers. If I can field more mountaineers, we can actually try to attack him. I need to get more close air support, and then after that, it's all about that infantry equipment, and it's all about that improved artillery, baby. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and see what it is.